just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! Hi, guys. What's up, YouTube? It's the Aftermath. Yo, today I'm going to hit the quad dominant leg training. All right. We got some jumps, we got some front squats, we got some uh, leg extensions. Um, so actually we're gonna do a lot more like body weight movement today. So we'll do some box jumps as well. Um, today is more on the lighter side of things, not really crazy. Like the last video, you saw me going ham on the ATG squats or whatever. Well, I'm feeling pretty fucking sore. I'm not gonna lie, like my shoulders hurt. Um, so being in this front squat position is really gonna fuck the shit out of me. And you know what, we're still gonna bring the energy. Still gonna bring the energy. Check out the Don't Touch hoodies coming out. You already know what it is. The tees coming out. The baseball tees are coming out as well. Um, so if you're on my Instagram, you check that out. On my Twitter as well. Both are FB Aftermath. So that being said, let's get to it. The incline bench yesterday. That's why that shit's so short. Well, I don't know if I can do this press squat today. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, and I ain't got my knee sleeves today. I'm complaining today, bro. I'm hella complaining today. Y'all is in the same ass fucking pose. I'm like, Matt, you can't do that for every black person, bro. Lee! Like, if I was to do every Asian, I call him Lee. You know? Oh, my knee sleeves are here. <laughs> I just noticed I pulled down my knee sleeves. All right. I'm trying to lose some weight, everybody. You know? I'm trying to drop down to 215. All right, I feel, I feel better now that I got my knee sleeves. Super Supreme Wireless Headphones from Creative Labs. You guys can grab these bad boys also. Look at this, ching, 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 ching. And you guys can go in the link in the description, grab these bad boys. This is all you gotta do right here. This is all you gotta do right here. You pull them out. You should have usefulness of doing. Pull them out. Boom, put it in. It's gonna say connected, and that's it. I didn't have to, I didn't even have to do nothing else. It's all about the case, bro. Except for the cheese. Do not train front squats after a crazy incline chest day because this shit is very uncomfortable. Okay, let me let me get to it. Let's give everybody the pros and cons of training chest. Training chest is honestly like literally the worst thing you can do for <laughs> any type of mobility or performance for the arms. Like benching, like really kills your mobility completely when it comes to arm movement, right? Like when I talk to fighting coaches, when I go like to a fighting coach or martial arts class or whatever, or even a, 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 a weight lift, Olympic weightlifting, they say, yo, no benching, no benching, because you're like, you know, you it, it pulls your punches. You can't reach out when you're punching. You can't get into mobility positions in Olympic lifting. So. I'm just trying to get this bench shit going. And then after that, once I get who I want to on bench, I ain't got to worry about that shit no more. I can just focus on squatting and deadlifting. Fuck. Oh, you already know. Grab that Just Saying armor, justsaying.com. Just go Aftermath, 10% off. Yo, it's crazy, I'm, uh, I'm hurting. 
my front delts. All that shit's crazy. I'm not trying to sit here and complain to you guys, but that shit's serious. I had a fucking crazy chest workout the other day. I want to film me. I think I filmed that shit too. I'm gonna do a little lot wider, speed out. So hit that teardrop. We're gonna go right here. Boom. Two. Just like that. Coming here to troll, you're like, he's not even doing a full squat. That's the whole point of the movement. You go out wider, you hit to the point of where you're hitting that inner thigh to that teardrop. Because you're not going to hit it once you go full below. Delo days, man.
when you run, one thing you don't want to do is drag your hip behind. Right? So, as you see when I go right here, bring those hips in. Right? You don't want to be back here. Right here. You want to be boom. Boom. Bring those hips in. Use that explosion from the glutes. Power through that shit. I already see the people in the comments like, no, it's right. You ain't working out. You ain't doing shit. You ain't even lifting heavy weights. That's the ignorance that we have in this community. People expect me to always lift 600, 5, 7, 8, 100 pounds every single time I work out. The majority of the time, this is the shit that I do. The majority of the time when I post heavy shit, that's just for that day of the week or whatever. And it's just for fun. Just to kind of give y'all something to be hype about, motivate, whatever. Because a lot of times the shit that I do, I actually do. It's not honestly motivating people, whatever. You'd be like, oh, it's fine. This is what you really do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you do shit like this? You know, I train for longevity. I don't do the heavy lifting shit every single time. So, that's just kind of giving y'all the, it was like what fitness is. You know what I'm saying? It's not heavy lifting every single fucking workout. You can't sustain long in fitness doing that. And a lot of times you guys think that I'm lifting every single heavy, every single workout. That's not the case. That's might be what I post. That's not the case. I don't post every workout. Does it matter to you at all? Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you